Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how I perform regular maintenance on my Peak Pilates Fit Reformer. Let's get started at the back of the machine. Grab your Phillips head screwdriver and begin removing the screws that hold the piece of wood on the back of the base plate. Set the piece aside, ensuring you keep all the screws together with the wood. Remove the risers and ropes by pulling the pin to release the riser. Then, from underneath the carriage, release the lever to remove the rope. Use your Allen wrench to remove the back plate. Be sure to keep a hand on it so it doesn't fall. Next, remove both back bumpers. Again, be sure to keep all these pieces together. I put the nuts and bolts back on the bumper and set them aside so nothing gets lost. Use your Allen wrench to unscrew the back bolts on both sides of the machine. Remove the springs and carefully slide the reformer towards the back of the machine. Carefully remove the carriage from the rails. It's very heavy, so take your time and ask for help if you need it. Slide the carriage out of the rails and turn it over, placing it face down across both sets of rails. Use a clean cloth and some all-purpose cleaner to give your machine a good cleaning. Wipe down all the rails inside and out, your gear bar, your spring area, underneath the reformer, anything that might have collected dust. It's important to regularly clean all of your wheels. Remove any hair, dust, dirt, and debris to ensure a smooth ride. Inspect your wheels for any flat spots, cracks, or wear, and replace any wheels that may have been damaged or worn down. To replace your wheels, grab your Allen wrench and begin unscrewing the bolt that holds the wheel on. Keep the bolt and washer together and discard the used wheel. Place the bolt and washer on the outside of the wheel and place it back onto the bearing. Use your Allen wrench to screw the wheel back into place. Repeat this process with any other wheels that may need replaced. If needed, add a little bit of 3-in-1 oil. A little bit goes a long way here. Use just one drop on each side of the wheel, giving the wheel a nice spin after each drop to ensure everything is lubricated. Remember, you should never ever grease or oil your rails. Only use 3-in-1 oil and only on the wheels, very sparingly, if needed. Once everything has been cleaned and your wheels have been replaced, it's time to put your carriage back on the rails. Carefully flip it over and slide it back into the rails, asking for help if needed. Always add a spring for safety. Next, add your rear bumpers back into place. Carefully unscrew the nuts and take off the washer. Place the bumper back in. The washer and then the bolts go on underneath the machine. Use the Allen wrench to replace the back bolts, three on each side. Replace the back plate. Hand screw one bolt in on each side to keep it from falling. Then hand screw in the remaining bolts. Use your Allen wrench to go back and securely tighten each of the bolts. Replace the wooden back piece. Again, take your screws and hand screw them in to keep the back plate in place. Then, use your Phillips head screwdriver to tighten all of the screws. Finally, replace your ropes and risers. Use the release button to place the riser back into the hole, making sure it clicks into place. Thread the rope down through the hole underneath the carriage, using the lever to tighten the rope into place. safe and smooth ride, be sure to perform this maintenance regularly on your Peak Pilates Fit Reformer.